in college, you know, I never knew that a kicker had the trigger in a hole. Five, Lewis gets. Unfortunately, though, this is where our story takes a drastic, and I mean a drastic turn. So now he was going viral for something that was completely different from hitting people on the football field. Many, and I mean many years ago, there was a 258 pound kicker that was completely terrorizing the college football landscape. I don't know if I'd go as far as saying he was striking fear in his opponent's eyes, but for a kicker, he's as close as it gets. And whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. You're probably assuming I'm talking about his kicking ability, but that had nothing to do with this whatsoever. The reason this said kicker was making noise all across the college football world is because of how hard he was hitting people. If you don't want to take my word for it, that's cool. I completely understand, but why don't you take a look at this? Five, Lewis gets... And Julius... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this right here is Jordan Lewis. Now, I know what you're sitting here saying. Yo, Matt, who in the crap is Jordan Lewis, and why are we talking about him in this video? That's a great question, my friend, and I have an even better answer. Jordan Lewis was, I guess you could label, a victim of the Penn State kicker. And here's what he had to say about how hard he got hit by him. Matt wrote a clip. Did you see the kicker coming on that kick return there? Not even close. I did not see him at all. He was, he definitely thought he was going to make the tackle when he did. In college, you know, I never knew that a kicker had the trigger in a hole. Uh, I never knew. I thought he just stayed back there for a safety valve. But he definitely didn't care about any of that. He took his shot and he made it. To put the cherry on top of things, this kicker for Penn State, he was going viral for two reasons. Reason number one is, it's not every day you see a 260-pound kicker with all due respect. Reason number two is, it's not every day you see kickers even attempting to make tackles, but he wasn't even just making tackles, he was hitting like Reuben Foster out there. And here's another thing we gotta throw in here. He was also good at his main job, which was kicking. He was named to the Big Ten All-Freshman team. But then out of nowhere, he vanished. It was very weird, strange, odd, whatever word you want to throw in there to say the least, because he just vanished in the middle of his college football career. There was no signs of him whatsoever, and it left college football fans in the dark. Everybody was wondering, where's that hard-hitting kicker at? And although at the time nobody exactly knew what happened to him, here's what everybody did know. Something did happen. It's crazy when you think about it. He was named to the all-Big Ten freshman team and made all those crazy viral hits in 2016, and ever since then, he never played football again. There's a lot of questions people have been asking about him that have been floating around even till this day, but it all circles back to the one, and I mean the one big question we're gonna try to get to the bottom of in today's video. What really happened to Joey Julius? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hope all of you having a great and fantastic day. If not, hope this video can make it a little bit better. Gotta give a major shout out to this comment right here. This is the main reason we're even making this video. He stated, love these videos, Matt. We'll love to see one on Joey Julius, the big kicker a few years back. He was supposed to have a promising career and now he's nowhere. Keep up the great videos, best channel on YouTube, and thank you for those kind words. It means a lot. As most of you know by now, your boy Matt is a fan of the people and I'm gonna give the people what they want. If you have any recommendations on a great story video, a certain player you think is worthy of a video, feel free to leave a comment down below and we might make that video. It is as plain and as simple as that. And also let me throw this in here because I forget to say this time after time. If you enjoy videos like this, content like this, and you like sports in general, consider subscribing to the channel. It helps us out tremendously. Although you guys don't know what's going to happen in this video, I already do because I've done all my research and I'll give you a little teaser. You're in for a good one with this one. Of course, I think all the story videos we make are interesting because if I didn't, I wouldn't be making the video in the first place. But this one, it's got to be in the top 10 or 15. I was really intrigued by his story and situation. Strap in, buckle up, get your snack, get your popcorn, get your favorite meal you like to eat when you watch a video. Because trust me, I do the same thing. But all right, Matt, blah, blah, shut the crap up. Now that I've heard I do, let's get on. Man, oh man, good old Joey Julius, kind of a tone twister there. Come on, man, don't act brand new. You already know, to get into his story, we got to throw it all the way back to where things started. Mr. Joey Julius was born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. However, he grew up in Hummelstown, Pennsylvania. This is where he wound up playing his high school football for Lower Dolphin High School. And of course, you know what I'm about to say next, he was really good. You know how we like to do things around here, yada, yada, yada. We like to kind of skim past the high school days because any of these three, four, five-star recruits, they're always highly talented and they dominate. All throughout high school, he was a kicker and punter and he was named to the All-State team not once, but twice. So how about that? It is worth throwing in there as well. He did play on the defensive line in high school. So I guess that's why he was used to hitting people in college. With him playing his high school football in Pennsylvania, it just made total sense for him to go to Penn State. It was relatively close to the area. They recruited him heavily and that's where he wound up signing and deciding to play his college football at. And this is where things immediately get good in our story because as 
as a redshirt freshman, he was the kicker for Penn State in 2015. And as a redshirt freshman, a kicker in a Power 5 conference, he led the Big Ten in field goal percentage. And although his 2015 redshirt freshman year was good, it wasn't until 2016 until he started going viral all over the internet and became a household name in college football. Or maybe not a household name, my apologies, but you more so knew him of, hey, that's that big kicker for Penn State that's knocking the crap out of people, so you don't want to mess with him. And he had two big-time hits in particular that stick out to me. The one against Michigan, against Jordan Lewis, and I already showed you what he had to say about it. And another one against Kent State. These were the two hits that had everybody, I mean absolutely everybody across the country going, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. Who is this guy? Who is this kicker? Within the span of about a year and a half, Julius went from a guy that nobody knew to arguably the biggest fan favorite in all of college football. And it's a relatively simple explanation as to why this happened. When we think of a kicker, what do we think of? Some scrawny white dude that isn't cut out to play football, let's just be honest. Nobody takes a kicker serious, they're always unathletic, they can't even run in a straight line if they wanted to. That's a stereotype, and you know I'm right. You do have some rare exceptions here and there, but for the most part, you know exactly what I'm talking about and referring to. And since more times than not, kickers are scrawny, weak, and unathletic, they shy away from contact, and they don't try to tackle people. And in the extremely rare circumstance a kicker does try to tackle somebody, you know what they do. They go at the legs, and it, it just looks awful. But for Joey Julius, it was none of that. He looked like a legit defensive lineman out there, or linebacker, when he was hitting people. And all in all, I think it came down to this. It was refreshing to see a kicker that wanted to get in the mix of things, and he wanted to hit people. It wasn't like he was shying away from it. He was seeking out these opportunities. He enjoyed it. And then what happened is, after he started making all these big-time hits, the hunter became the hunted. You could say some certain teams weren't taking a liking to what he was doing on the football field, more particularly, Minnesota. So that was a whole interesting situation in itself, and I remember that just like it was yesterday. And it was funny because when Julius was going after all these players and hitting them hard, no flags whatsoever. But when all these teams were going after him, they were always getting flags for unnecessary roughness. Granted, some people did make the accusation that Julius was flopping, and I rewatched the video clips, and yeah, sometimes he did. Unfortunately, though, this is where our story takes a drastic, and I mean a drastic turn. In the midst of that 2016 season, Joey Julius wound up announcing that he was experiencing anxiety, depression, and he had an eating disorder. And this wasn't a story that got swept under the rug. This made national headlines. It was posted all over the internet. So now he was going viral for something that was completely different from hitting people on the football field. And come to find out, Joey stated that he was struggling with binge eating for 11 years. And he wound up getting some help from family, friends, and people in general, and they decided it'd be best if he'd enter therapy for it. Sadly though, while he was doing therapy, he wasn't around the football team, wasn't practicing, wasn't doing any of that stuff. And since he wasn't doing football things, he didn't know what to do. He didn't know how to occupy his time. You gotta think about it. For Joey Julius, football was really his only escape from everything else going on in his life. Without football, he lost that safe haven and it put him in an even worse position. And I think we can all relate to this. I'd be willing to bet 95% of you watching this video either A, you played in high school, or B, you currently play in high school, any sport. And once you get done playing, you realize this even more, but sports are a big part of your life if you play them all the time. And once that's gone, whenever you retire or your high school career ends, you're kind of in a weird position because you're like, well, dang, what do I do now in my free time? Because as a former athlete myself, all I knew growing up was go to school. When you get out of school, you practice until it's dark, and then you eat and go to sleep and repeat. I did that for 20 plus years. And by doing stuff all the time, whether that's working out or playing sports, it takes your mind off everything else and all your problems you actually have in your life. And this is why I also think it's so vital for kids to play sports growing up because it gives you a sense of community and you make a ton of friendships. And it also gives you something to look forward to. But going back to this situation, Joey Julius no longer had that one thing to look forward to and it left him in a dark place. So while he was at therapy, although that was going good, he wound up struggling to find the motivation to even do his classwork and he wound up failing a bunch of his classes. And heading into the fall of the 2018 season, he was academically suspended from Penn State. While his rehab process was going on, here's what Joey had to say about everything. Quote unquote, body image is my biggest struggle. I think it's one of the hardest things we deal with as human beings. I was a kicker on a football team and you'd always hear, he doesn't have the typical kicker's body. But I really did not have the typical kicker's body. I was not built like a kicker. I literally looked nothing like I was supposed to be. And to attest to his point here, 
he's 100% right, and he's also 100% self-aware. Does saying 100% self-aware even make sense? I don't know. We're going to roll with it. You get what I'm trying to say. He knew, although I don't think there's a problem with the way he looked, he didn't look like your stereotypical kicker, and I guess it was getting to him. And this is such a tricky and tough situation because you want to get your mental health right and your life in check, but also... You want to keep playing football, so it's a double-edged sword. He was having trouble doing both of those, and James Franklin did state in the summer of 2017 that Julius was removed from the Penn State football team. Then after, like I told you, in 2018, that's when it was announced that he was academically suspended. And I have a hard time critiquing him because, yeah, his football career went down a downhill slope, and then he wasn't making good grades, but that's not everything in this life. After doing all my research on the situation, here's the conclusion I came to. He sacrificed those grades and his college football experience to get everything else right in his life. And as much as I hate to say this, he never returned to the college football landscape. And as a matter of fact, he never returned to Penn State. It was stated, though, in 2020, he wound up getting a salesman job at a car dealership. And from my knowledge, unless I'm missing something here, he never wound up returning to Penn State. However, I am very pleased to share this information with you guys. He is fairly active on social media and... It looks like his life's going great. I went all throughout his Instagram, and it looks like he's just living a life, having fun, and he's enjoying every second of it. And remember how he was struggling finding something to do since he wasn't playing football? Well, now he's playing golf, so he's filled that void. And here's a recent picture of him. He's on the right here, and I think he looks great. This did stick out to me, though. In his Instagram bio, he has, as you can see right here, entrepreneur. And it looks like to me, I don't know this to be 100%, but going off of what he's posted, it looks like he's getting into the turf business. It looks like everything in his life it's smooth sailing and I can't tell you enough how happy I am for him. And to Joey Julius, if you're watching this video, I hope you continue to enjoy your life and make the best out of it. I'm rooting for you. It's unfortunate that football didn't work out, but I get it completely because you got to take care of something else. I tell you this much though and we'll end it off here. Thank you for all the memories. Let me know your thoughts down below. But uh, Romana!